Adam is a fun, loving, outgoing person. He's always got a smile on his face. He was a good kid. He started off difficult with his autism and his intellectual impairment as well. Screaming and not eating, not communicating. A, a big job for the teachers, but um, looking at him now as an adult, you would never know that's the same person. You always knew where Adam was at school because there was threads of socks everywhere because Adam used to go through a pair of socks a day basically. He would spring up sometimes behind you and oh hello Miss Beck and just yeah uh, a delightful person a bit mischievous at times as well and cheekiness but you like that you like him to have a bit of spunk. How did we start Adam? Adam special delivery. Yes we started um, it was actually mum that was the one that got it all started up and running. When he was in year 11 um, there was a couple of students prior to him that didn't do really good coming out of school. So we sat down and thought, well, what can we do? He likes to drive, he likes to talk to people, let's just go on, he can jump in the car, go pick up mail for someone. It just went from there. For the past 10 years, we've had Adam uh, pick up and collect our mail. It's allowed us to add productivity in the workplace by keeping a staff member in-house rather than doing a mail run. We look forward to Adam visiting us each week, coming in and saying hellos and nice greetings. He's always ready to go. He's at the door, ready to go. Big smile on his face. I could be coming to his place of a morning, having a bad morning, and then I get to Adam and he's just so excited to be going out and doing what he loves. His business is called Adam Special Deliveries, ASD standing for Autism Spectrum Disorder. We're proud of our autistic man, so we wanted to get out there and build awareness while he's walking around the community with it on his back. They get to see you know, the big ASD letters. So when Adam is actually working, he is focus driven, um, goes to where he needs to be and opens the mailbox, looks for the mail. He's, he's focused on where he is and what he's doing. Always on time, always got a smile on his face. He's always got something interesting to say. Most places he goes in, gets the mail by himself, then he'll go in and deliver it to the people by himself, get the folder signed. And when we're out having lunches and that, he can order his own lunch. I'm just really there just as a facilitator. I think with him having the business, it's kept him, I'm a working man, I'm wearing my uniform. He enjoys going to the different places. What do we do after you finish work? Go yeah, back to your place. No, you don't go to my place. What do we do? Go have lunch. And with who? Jack and Mickey. Or your friends, don't you? Yeah. Do we often do barbecues, don't we? Yes. Hey? I like some grandpa to play my game. Yes, I'll be on wide. I like going out going to Dodge. <laughs> the dog just granddad's <laughs> and it's just a little, it's a connection between him and granddad. Just going for a drive around town, out to the beaches, the parks, just two lads hanging out together. With his job, I think that's been the making of Adam. It's been something that's given him a huge responsibility. His communication skills and his vocabulary have increased. He's been able to make some, some wonderful friends and broaden his, his uh, community as far as being able to mix with other people at all different levels, not so much just in the disability community. The way that the community sees him is a lot different too. They don't treat him like he's that disabled person. He's a member of the community and they think he's all right and they think he's pretty cool. He picks up on that and he feeds off it. I think that's inclusion, yes, that is inclusion. Well, ha having Adam's service uh, certainly um, eases the load on our office staff. He uh, assists us with our mail deliveries and does our mail runs for us and any ad hoc um, deliveries that we need or pickups around town, we use Adam's special deliveries. Having mail dropped off is crucial to um, continuing in business. Without Adam, I would have to have someone do that service and he does an excellent job. I think we have succeeded a lot more with him on board. Adam's grown the business to the point now where he's satisfied, he's comfortable with the people that he's got. 
I think it's important to be inclusive when you're talking about employment in the workplace. There are so many different jobs and skills around that there's enough for everyone to do. Not only does it give an opportunity to the worker, but it creates a more compassionate and a more uh, inclusive society, which is what we all want. It works both ways. Um, Adam supports us and I think we support him as well. People with disabilities are just the same as you and I. We have feelings, we have thoughts, we have ideas, we have dreams, aspirations, and he wants the same as everybody else. Very often people with disability don't have issues and problems. They, they show many people how to actually become a social butterfly and how to interact with people just being themselves. They may have some unique characters, but they're still wonderful and very helpful people within our community. It makes me proud, yeah. It makes me proud to be able to do this with him as well. I'm proud of what he's accomplished. I'm proud of what we did to get him to this point. He comes home happy, goes out happy. Yeah, um, I am just really, really, we're all really, really proud of Adam. He's known by everybody and, and everybody knows that he is just a really beautiful, jovial guy that has so much to give. I am the man about town. <laughs>